Hello crafty cuties. I hope that you guys are doing lovely. Let me know down below. Leave me a comment what kind of project you're working on if you're crafting and if you're not crafting tell me a project that you're hoping to work on in the near future. So um, today I'm just going to share with you two ideas for junk journals. These are kind of like layout or foundation pages and Again, I'm working on a whole series of journals, so I'm doing an assembly line version of this and I'm making like 20 of each of these. But today I'm just going to show you each one. So first, and these are also really, really simple ideas, guys, but, and I've showed them in many videos before. They're some of my favorite page ideas, but I just thought, you know, I'm just going to craft with you and show you what I'm working on because sometimes we need ideas for pages. So here we go. This is just a double tag idea. This is one of my favorite go-to pages or page ideas. Um, I don't know why I love it so much, but I just think it looks super cute on a page like this it's functional because you have the two tags where you can journal and then a lot of times i'll even put like a picture right on top or you can add like a pocket on top it's really easy to um kind of change up as you're going with it even though you're pre-making that idea i hope that makes sense the other idea is just a little door idea um so here we have two pockets and then we have a third larger pocket. I just have like a big journaling tag. Oops. And then it also flips open. We're kind of at a weird angle here. So yes, there we go. So it kind of flips open and then you have two large areas for maybe a photo or whatever you want to add. And so let's go ahead and make these two ideas. Okay, now I have all of my stuff cut out to make a bunch of these, but I'm just going to start fresh with you guys and start with a piece of paper so we can go over the measurements and things like that. So we'll move these to the side and let's go ahead and do the double pocket idea first. And so <clears throat> I think I'm going to use this paper right here. Okay, so we are going to... Let me just get my measurements so I can make sure. So it's about four, four and three quarters by six. That's right. I chose those measurements because on a page of tw a 12 by 12, you can make four of these and I'm trying to get the most out of my paper. So anyways, um, so we're going to cut this down. It's four and three quarters. Of course, use whatever measurements work for your journals, but four and three quarters by six. I also like that these kind of foundation pages or pre-decorated pages, um, you can leave them somewhat blank. Like, I guess I call this blank even though it's decorated, but the recipient can add lace and they could add, you know, pictures and they could add more pockets if they want. So I like that it has a lot of flexibility that you can use. And then I'm gonna cut down. I like using printer paper as like a base, like when I need a back to a pocket or something, and I've never had a problem with it, um, with it being like not durable enough or anything like that. Now I will say I don't typically take just a regular printer paper and fold it into a signature where it's going to be, you know, sewn into a signature. I don't think I have, but I, I also wouldn't be worried about that either. I just haven't ever had trouble with it, but, um, you know, use what works best for you. You can totally just use some, um, you can use regular scrapbook paper for the back of this too, but we're not really going to see it. So, um, <clears throat> it's up to you and it will add more bulk if you have, you know, heavier paper. Okay. <laughs> Enough chatting. So this is just so simple. So we're going to take this and I'm just simply folding it in half like that, like so, as I would say. I like to take my scalloped punch. Um, now, if you don't have one of these, you can just cut out a half circle. You can cut out a little notch or you can keep it um, just straight, whatever you'd like to do. There we go. I just do it while it's folded. So now we have our two little areas here. I think I'm actually going to use, I never use my uh, page rounder. What do you call this? Anyways, I think I'm going to try this out. See how that looks. I don't typically round my edges, but why not? Okay. So there we go. And I always like to ink up the, um, all of the folding areas because let me show you, 
I think it just adds a lot when you have the middle portion here um, inked up, but depending on what look you're going for, you can either ink that up or leave it, leave it um, just how it is. And then, of course, the fun part, you can decorate this even more with like some lace or embellishments, but I will probably be leaving this pretty blank for now. Again, so that when you go to actually do your journaling, there's gonna be some room for flexibility. And this print is actually pretty busy, so I don't know. I would probably add like some type of a label, but I do think I can't hold off on adding, I always like to add something down the center. Now again, you could just leave this blank like I just said I was gonna do, but <laughs> <clears throat> this one's actually going to be for my journal. A lot of times when I'm um, creating like prototypes or whatever on camera, I usually use that one like for my own journal. Okay, so I'm just gonna use glue, but you know, you can use your sewing machine as well. I try, uh, I'm trying to keep all of these projects pretty darn simple. There we go. Okay, and then again, you can sew this onto the paper and I don't think I told you, but I cut this out the same exact size, so four and three quarters by six. Um, I'm just going to take my glue that I trust and love. I just actually ordered 20 bottles of this glue from, I think it's called Office Supply, and it ended up being $1.75 each, which is pretty good. So I go around all three edges, and then I also go down, go down the middle. This is up to you, but I like the there to be two separate pockets for tags and then just go ahead and I know I didn't round the corners on the white paper but I think I'm actually gonna leave it like that okay you're all done and then I have been actually just taking I have so much scrap paper and I'm trying to get rid of all of my scrap paper that I've been having holding on to for years so I will just go through my scrap bin and then I like to make um, some tags that fit in so I'm not going to make the tags right now just because I want to show you the next project but I think that is super duper cute and it just fits perfectly on a junk journal page which is what I'm doing with it so now we're going to go ahead and make our door. And I'm not gonna put the little doorknob on it because I realize, I, don't, I can't decide. I think it, maybe it looks a little cheesy with the doorknob, but I also think it would actually be really cute. Sorry, I, I'm taking forever to show you guys. With either a brad like this, or sorry, an eyelet, and then you could like tie something through it if you wanted, or um, like a Tim Holtz ring fastener, which I guess I don't have, but that would look so cute. But again, I'm trying to leave a little bit of room for flexibility when you get to the actual page. So now I'm going to use my big trimmer for this part. And we want to go ahead and cut this down. And again, I forget the measurements. So I'm going to do this seven inches. seven inches by four and a half. Okay, that's just the main base. I'm making this one a teeny bit smaller just because I, uh, I know it's going in my journal. I'm sorry, I gotta grab one paper here. I didn't have the right paper next to me. Okay, and then you're gonna take your either printer paper or a second page that's going to be mostly covered. And we are going to do seven, I'm gonna do seven and an eighth. I want it to be just a little teeny bit bigger. I like how that looks. And then I did four and a half, so you're gonna double the measurement. So I'm gonna do nine inches across. And again, I'm just gonna do a teeny bit bigger. So I'm gonna do nine like that nine and eight and then you're just gonna fold this in half and you don't have to make a flip you could just do one single um, page if you wanted just to have it but I think it makes sense to have it the, the door open 
and then that's going to go on there and then we need two little like windows and i like to cut that down and i like using uh mixing up the prints i think i'm gonna use this one yeah i'm gonna do two inches by three let's see here two inches by three you could get really creative with this um and make it look a lot more like a door if you wanted i just realized there's some prints on the back i hope i could have you guys zoomed in enough probably didn't i am sorry guys <laughs> Oh man, okay, let's see. I could do that, is that too busy though? Hmm, you guys are probably telling me. No, I think I'll stick to this. I've just really been liking uh, changing up all, or what am I trying to say? I've really been liking um, mismatching prints lately. And you'll notice when I, when I go to show you the final journals that I'm working on, I, I don't necessarily have the journal pa pages super duper themed maybe a couple of them i actually am doing just a huge mix because i think it just looks kind of fun and it sparks some creativity as you're going along and using the journals and i don't know i've been liking it okay so obviously i'm inking up all the edges so for this one i'm just gluing it right on top of the page that we folded in half and again you can sew yours but I'm just trying to keep it pretty simple and go like that. Whoops. So the three edges and I'm going to keep the top open. You don't have to if you don't want a third pocket, but I'm always looking for places to add a pocket or a flip or something like that. Okay. And then same with these. I'm also going to just glue around the three edges. I think these would look super duper cute if they were sewn. And I'm just going to put them somewhere kind of close to the top. And then again, I'll just be using some scraps to make tiny little tags that will stick out these two pockets. I love adding tiny little tags. And especially with these top ones, I kind of keep them a little hidden. Like you'll see, um, I'm not going to put like string on the tops of these, but of course you can do however you would like to do. So I like that this this looks kind of like a door but also it's not too obvious i don't know if that makes sense but and this is a little bit crooked but you know what <laughs> it's okay so there we go there's our little door you can totally make it look as realistic as you want i mean should i i don't know you know what i should do sorry i'm reaching across again i'm trying to grab let me just bring this over um where did those go? I have my ring fasteners that I was going to show you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know where they are. Darn. Well, here they are. <laughs> this, I guess this would actually look more like a doorknob um, pole, I guess you would call that. So that would look really cute to be in the middle there, but I'm going to, I'm just not going to do it right now. And I really liked the idea. Anyways, you guys get the point. <laughs> We're going to keep it like that. So I hope this gave you guys some ideas for page or for page ideas for your journals. And I am having so much fun making all of these different page ideas and sharing them with you. And I'm so sorry we're not in focus, but I think that's all for today. So I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you later. Bye.